13 on your sidelines. Sponsored by Rand Insurance Group, a better path forward. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to week three of 13 on your sidelines presented by Rant Insurance Group. I'm Jamal Spencer. And I'm Mark Skoll, Jr. Our game of the week features two teams coming off big wins against powerhouse opponents. Tonight, Grand Haven and East Kentwood faced each other as OK Red play opened up. And tonight was the 37th meeting between these OK Red rivals. Things would start off slow for both teams until this play. Falcons quarterback, the junior, Casey Joppy, hands it off to Stellan Bowman. He's going to take it all the way. Don't forget that name because you will be hearing it again. Falcons only up 7-0. Would kick an onside kick and recover it, which leads to this play here. Bowman charging it in again for East Kentwood and taking the wind out of the Buccaneers' sails right away. As the old saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So late in the first half, who else would it be? Stellan Bowman taking this one the full 82 yards for his fourth touchdown of the half. Falcons going to add two more touchdowns in the second half. They walk away with the shutout 42 to zero. When asked about Stellan Bowman, head coach Tony Kimbrough said, this is relatively new for the junior running back. You know, it's so funny. Stellan never played running back a bit last year. And I went to uh, watch him play rugby and nobody could tackle him. And I instantly said, dude, you got to play running back. And so you can see how electric he can be. He is tough to bring down. So, uh, and, and he's a hell of a linebacker. So it's a bonus for us. We got to start calling Stellan Bowman the natural. Grand Haven travels to Rockford next week. East Kentwood hosts Genesis. After turning the corner as a program last year, Caledonia has picked up this season right where they left off. Tonight, the 2-0 Scots traveled to Jenison. Caledonia came to this one outscoring their opponents 96-14, and that trend continues tonight against the Wildcats. First play from scrimmage, Caledonia quarterback Mason McKenzie rolls out, passes it to Justice Reed, who makes a nice cut, passes a diving Wildcat, and he is gone. 78 yards, and it's 7-0 Scots. Later in the first, it's 13 to nothing. McKenzie with the play action. He's looking too much time in the easy chair. McKenzie then finds a wide open Derek Pennington who trots into the end zone untouched. 20 nothing Caledonia. You guessed it, more fighting Scots. McKenzie back to pass and he launches it perfectly into the hands of Caden DeHorn and it's 27 nothing. Wildcats couldn't get their game going. Caledonia with a big win, 48 to nothing. Hudsonville returned home tonight to face Granville after two close losses on the road to start the year. Pick it up in the second quarter. The dogs up 16 8. Tyson Mann gets a handoff at the four. Somehow he comes out on the other end and reaches for the score. It's 20 48. See if Mann wins MVP of the week from week two later in the show. Hudsonville answers right back. Trey Carr drops back. Hits Eli Vanderveen and he cannot be cut. Leads cut to 24 to 15. In the second half, the Eagles look to score. Carr tosses it up, but it's Gransville's Tyson Man. He does it again. He's all over the place. A man on the mission with the interception. The drive takes us all the way down the field and in the fourth quarter where Carson Smith calls his own number, heads to the outside, and he is in. The dogs would just prove to be too much for the Eagles. Granville wins 40 to 29. When Prince sang, we're going to party like it's 1999, he was talking about Reef's Puffer. That was the one time they ever beat Muskegon. But the Rockets came into tonight 2-0, and the Big Reds were brushing off a huge loss against Warren De La Salle. Maybe this would be the night for Puffer to end that drought. Certainly looked like it could be in the first half. Second quarter, Muskegon quarterback Makai Guy rolls out, gets picked off by RP linebacker Caden Bulldog. Rockets take over on their own 30-yard line. On the ensuing possession, third and five, Brody Johnson <laughs> takes the handoff, burst up the middle. He cruises in from 30 yards out. Reeds Puffer takes the lead 14 to seven. Muskegon answers with a physical drive, caps it off with a physical run. Guy lowers his shoulder, drives into the end zone for the eight-yard score. Big Reds tied at 14 with the extra point. Rockets fly down inside the Muskegon 15-yard line, fourth down. Seven seconds left. They take a shot at the end zone. CJ Ivy the third with a great leaping interception to preserve the tie. Big Reds outscore them in the second half. They win it 28 to 20. 